Hello to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. I hope this finds you all well. It's good to have you with us here on YouTube and welcome to those who are joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below the video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As we normally do, we'll give people just a few more seconds to join us. During this time, we can settle ourselves and quieten our minds, our hearts, as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. Amen. Now we continue with the Psalms, and today I'm reading Psalm 131. My heart is not proud, O Lord, my eyes are not hoity. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have stilled and quietened my soul like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord both now and forevermore. Amen. Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And we continue reading from Matthew's Gospel. Today we're reading from chapter six, from verse five. It says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Amen. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We'll use the first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence. This is where we can pray our own prayers to God and for the things that God lays on our hearts. Let us pray together. <clears throat> Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations. You are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers which we make in his name. We pray in silence. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let us continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God. 
and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask, and do not be slow and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> o Christ, the Master Carpenter, who, at the last, through wood and nails, purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough-hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of your Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us again today. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now and take care. <laughs>